computation of mean precipitation over a catchment. So suppose you have a basin or a catchment area and you will have to find the mean precipitation or the average rainfall over that uh, basin or catchment area. Then the rainfall is measured at a number of rain gauge stations suitably located in that given area. And we already studied that in order to find the accurate rainfall of an area, you will uh, need more than one rain gauge station. So the number of rain gauge stations depends upon the area and the uh, distribution of rainfall. If a basin or a catchment area contains more than one rain gauge station, the computation of average rainfall may be done by these following methods. The first method is arithmetic average method, second is Thies and Polygon method and third one is isohydal method. Now we will see one by one. The first method is arithmetic average method. So this is one of the simplest method of estimating average rainfall. Average rainfall is calculated by arithmetic average of uh, recorded rainfall at the various stations. So suppose you have a number of stations from 1 to n number of stations and these are the rainfall P1, P2, P3 till Pn are the uh, rainfall which are received from these uh, stations like 1, 2, 3 till n. Okay. Then the average rainfall can be calculated by using this formula that is P1, P2, P3 till Pn that are the respective uh, rainfall of each station. This is the rainfall from the first station, uh, the total rainfall from the second station and the rainfall received from the end station. Everything divided by the total number of stations. So if you have 10 number of stations then it will be divided by 10. Okay. So sigma Pi by N will be the average uh, precipitation of that particular area. So the main advantage of uh, this method is uh, this method is best suitable when the rainfall is very uniform in all places. Okay, and the second method is Thies and Polygon method. Now this method is a very common method of weighing the uh, rain gauge observations according to the area. It is also known as weighted mean method. And uh, this is more accurate than the uh, previous method, that is the arithmetic average method. Now, first we will see the procedure to construct, it, uh, construct this particular area. Now, you can see a diagram here. Uh, this is a catchment or a basin. And uh, you can see four different rain gauge stations, that is A, B, C and D. These are the four rain gauge stations in this uh, particular catchment area. Now, in order to construct this area, first what we are doing is we have to join all these adjacent rain gauge stations that is A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. So, we will get the polygon first. Now, the next step is to construct the perpendicular bisectors of each of these lines. That is uh, for AB line, we have drawn this perpendicular bisector. Similarly, for BC, here you can see a perpendicular bisector for CD this one and for DA I have also drawn a perpendicular bisector. Now uh, the polygon formed by the perpendicular bisectors around the station encloses an area. Here you can see this is an area A1 this particular area and this area uh, the polygon this polygon is taken as A2 and the area of this polygon is A3 and this particular polygon is named as A4. So we have four polygons A1, A2, A3 and A4. All these combines to form this catchment area. Now the next step is to find out the uh, area of this particular uh, polygon that is A1, A2, A3 and A4. And with the help of rain gauge we will also um, calculate P1, P2, P3 and P4. P1 is nothing but the rainfall received in this particular area and P2 is the rainfall received in this area A2 by uh, from the rain gauge station B and P3 uh, the rainfall measurement is got from the rain gauge station C and P3 will be the uh, rainfall of this particular polygon that is A3 okay so you'll have a clear idea of what are the notations given and uh, if you know all these values then you can easily find out the um, uh, measurement that is the P average by using this formula that is P1 A1 plus P2 A2 till Pn An divided by A1 plus A2 till An. So what are these uh, terms? 
T1 is the uh, precipitation of the uh, first station that is A station and A1 is the area of that particular polygon okay that is this portion. Similarly P2 is the um, rainfall received in this A2 region okay till Pn An divided by A1 to An is nothing but the each area A1 is this polygon a2 is this polygon, A3 is this area and A4 is here. Okay, so all these combine form the total catchment area. So everything, uh, if you add together, you will get the total area. So the final equation will be sigma pi ai divided by sigma ai. Okay, now we can also solve this uh, problem by using another equation. That is, uh, if weights are given, T's and weights are given, then the problem can be solved by using this method that is the p average can be found out by this equation p1 w1 plus p2 w2 till pn wn this w1 uh, w2 w3 these are called the t's and weights that are nothing but w1 is nothing but a1 by sigma a that is the area of that particular uh, polygon divided by the total area of the catchment okay and w2 is a2 by sigma a so, Wn will be An by sigma A. Okay. So, if you add all the T's and weights, you will get uh, the um, sum as 1. Okay. So, just understand if weights are T's and weights are provided, then you can directly substitute in the formula and find out the P average value. If T's and weights are not given, but area of each polygon is separately given, then you can use this formula and find out the average precipitation of that particular catchment area. Now coming to the uh, third method that is isohydral method you will have a clear idea on what is condor a condor is nothing but a line joining the points of equal elevations so similarly there is a term isohyte so an isohyte is actually a line on a rainfall map of the basin joining the places of equal rainfall reading so you here you can see a number of isohydes uh, it has been numbered 10 11 12 13 14 etc so the points which are passing through these isohydes will be having the same rainfall rate all these points will be receiving 10 centimeter rainfall and these points will be receiving 11 centimeter of rainfall so uh, this is an isohydral map it is showing the contours of equal rainfall um, which represents a more accurate picture of the rainfall distribution over a particular basin or a catchment area okay now how will you construct it from the uh, rainfall values rec recorded at various rain gate stations first you have to prepare this isohydral map Okay, so after preparing this isohydral map, we have to measure the areas enclosed between the successive isohydes with the help of a planimeter. Okay, so these are the iso here you can see two successive isohydes that is uh, suppose 10 and 11 and the area between this isohyde can be measured by using a planimeter. So this planimeter is very helpful to find the uh, area of an irregular plot. Okay, so by using this type of instrument, we can find out the area. Suppose the area covered by the isohydes 10 and 11 be a1 okay now the area between the isohydes 11 and 12 be a2 and uh, 12 and 13 13 be a3 and so on now these areas can be multiplied by the average rainfall between the isohydes so um, we, we can compute the average rainfall by uh, applying this formula that p average is equal to sigma a into p1 plus p2 by 2 divided by sigma a so here p1 and p2 will be the successive isohydes suppose uh, 10 and 11 so 10 plus 11 divided by 2 into the area of this portion is a1 so a1 plus uh, 11 plus 12 by 2 into a2 plus 12 plus 13 by 2 into a3 etc divided by the total area the total area will be a1 plus a2 till an okay so by using this formula you can calculate the average precipitation of that particular catchment area by using isohydral method i hope these methods are clear for the next session we can solve some problems using these equations